the whole thing wobbing. Time for my first gameplay of the year. Today, guys, we have the new Josh Allen and Cam Chancellor on the team. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Kincaid for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, there are four NFL Week 1 discount specials available right now on Underdog. You guys have until Monday to use one of those four. As for the Angel Reese special, though, you only have until 8 p.m. Eastern Time tonight to use your Angel Reese special. If you guys check Check out Underdog Fantasy right now using code Zerk. You'll get up to $250 in bonus funds, a .5 new user special when you guys sign up. You also get the Angel Reese .5 point special, and only when you guys sign up using code Zerk, will you also get the Dak Prescott .5 passing yard special, and you have all the way up until week one of the NFL season to use it. Now, as you guys can see, we have Josh Allen on the team. Now, I do have a couple strategy cards. I'm also using the new Boom uh, strategy card as well, but 80 speed, 88 throw power, solid accuracies, the 79 deep. That one is a little bit concerning, but we'll see about it. Now, also, his trucking does go up by 10 with the strategy card, so he has 86 trucking as well. Uh, very excited to use the card. Now, here's the thing, though, right? You guys will see, it's only his X-Factor, but we have Gunslinger X-Factor, make consecutive passes for 5-plus yards in the air. Uh, I think it's 3, and then it activates right there, so that's the way we're going to be rocking out with Gunslinger. He does also have a couple different ones. Tireless Runner, uh, Steamroller, which is 1 AP. Sounds pretty good. Omaha as well, Escape Artist, Freight Train, Train. Was. I want to try out Gunslinger, of course, though. And then we have Cam Chancellor, who looks amazing with the strategy card, guys. 97 hit power. Yes, 97 hit power. 85 speed, 84 excel, 6 foot 3, 86 pursuit. Uh, the strategy card, by the way, does expire. I don't remember exactly when, but yeah, his hit power is not going to stay like that forever. 82 change of direction, and then an 82 block shed. And for his ability, we are running extra pop. It gives you perfect hit sticks, uh, force more fumbles for 0 AP. He also gets it for 1 AP, so yeah, obviously, the 0 if he wants better form tackler extra pop again form tackler i don't know why you know there's three different versions of it but yeah there are and then a bunch of other stuff universal coverage avalanche that being said let's get into this all right so let's get into this by the way in case you guys are curious about their team cams they only have whatever teams they played on they don't get all 32 team cams so obviously josh allen is only the bills and uh cam chancellor is always going to be the seahawks and only going to be the seahawks that's my top three by the way i love this like walkout right here okay heinz ward Mostert, Stafford. All right, so let's see what we can do out here. Now, I will tell you guys, I am not in the right formation. I did not get there quick enough. Woo, that's Cam Chancellor. I wanted that hit stick. Now, this guy's running hurry up. I don't think he knows that I'm in the wrong formation here, but he's just running hurry up as he's going to go to the flats once again. Okay, weird hit. All right, so there we go. I finally got everybody out here that I actually want to. Micah Parsons stopping the run. Third down and five coming up. This guy's already shown me that he likes to go to the flats. So I'm kind of expecting that Cam Chancellor. Cam Chancellor almost just made a crazy interception. Fourth down and five. Uh, he's already been in a lot of places. No way. Did he get in bounds? Wow. All right, that's crazy. He somehow was able to get in bounds right there. All right, down to the 28-yard line. Once again, another play action. I'm watching out for that over the middle, and Cam is there. Dude, Cam is everywhere. Cam Chancellor is literally all over the field right now. This is insane. Second down and 10 coming up as he's going to try to run it, make him bounce it back to the inside. Mostert. Did he really get the first there? All right, that's crazy. Down to the 18 now, though. Let's see if we can get some pass rush going on him a little bit as the flats should be covered again cam chancellor right there and i'll tell you guys this when it comes to doing like defensive back gameplay sometimes they just don't make plays at all it just is what it is cam chancellor has made like three tackles already broken up like two passes this is crazy and this is literally the first defensive drive as he actually is gonna run it here and try to get a hit now if i actually force a fumble out here with cam chancellor that would just be insane that's what i'm really trying to do in this gameplay is just force a fumble as cam is there but just can make a play luckily we do cam chancellor was there once again you know guarding the corner little bit out of position not even make the play on it but hey we stopped him out into three all right guys so you already know i'm looking to go deep right off the bat and let's see if we can get it done if we get enough time in the pocket it. Oh, we got him. Devin Hester down the field. What a dot from Josh Allen. That was a laser. Oh, crap. Devin Hester is going to get a kick return touchdown. Yep, that's uh, that's Madden 25 for you. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer to see some more Cam Chancellor, but we got some more Josh Allen basically instantly here as the flats are open. We're going to take that 
Hit uh, Saquon right here. Get a decent little block. Almost get the first down. That deep throw, though, seriously was amazing. Like, the speed on the ball did seem really fast. And we don't have Gunslinger actually even activated just yet, as we do have Devin Hester right here. Once again, you can kind of tell with the release. Seems pretty solid. Now, we do have to make consecutive passes of five plus yards in the air to get this activated here, as that's going to be incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up. Let's not try to do anything too crazy. Let's just take what we can get, as Saquon's going to be open, and that's going to be an easy first down. Okay, and let's just see if we can get in the end zone. How about that? Can we get into the end zone here? Kyle Pitts able to make that catch, pick up about seven. Now, of course, I do also want to show off Josh Allen running the ball here, so we're going to run a read option. I hope that we can keep this, and yes, we can, but unfortunately, the defense is oh i thought the defense was gonna get to us all right well he messed up pretty bad there once again we're running another read option back to back let's see if we can get it to work again this time and once again he missed josh down to the one and look man josh allen did all this work to get us down here i gotta get him into the end zone i don't think he's gonna be ready for this third and goal i'm literally just gonna run a hurry up right here and let's see if we can punch it in on a qb sneak can we get it in josh Josh Allen TD. All right, so we were able to go ahead and get a touchdown right there with Josh Allen. I mean, you can see the speed on him. It's it's pretty good. Also, the release definitely seemed pretty solid. As I'm going to look out over the middle here. Nothing's really open. My opponent's going to try to take off at Stafford. That's not going to work out. And some pretty good coverage. Let's see, though. I'm going to try to send a little blitz at him. Let's see if we can get this blitz to work. Got to look out for the flats. Oh, I kind of left the middle of the field open, but he decided to go to the sideline. And he's coming out now in a spike. I'm sure he's going to audible, and of course he did, to the slants here. Cam Chancellor, I want that knockout. All right, and on fourth and one, he ran an RPO. Are, are you serious? That's actually insane. Like, the fact that we just broke in the backfield like that, and he ended up getting the first down is absolutely insane. That's probably on me, to be honest. I put Cam Chancellor in man coverage. Just can't do that. I just wanted to try to send a blitz at him, as he's coming out in five wide now. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can get some pass rush going. I got Nick Bolton over the middle here. He's going to try to take off again. Yep, sacked again. Okay, second and goal now. He's actually going to run it. Okay, CMC picked up a couple yards. If I was this guy, I would definitely be chewing clock, but he's not. So I'm not going to use any of my timeouts here. I'm just going to go ahead and let the clock come down just a little bit in case he does score. We still have a chance. Good tackle. All right, and fourth and goal now at the two-yard line. I think he's going to run. I really do. I really think he's going to try to run this football. Is he going to run it? He's motioning over. Okay, he's not running. Got to look out for the slant, and I'm right there with Nick Bolton. I did not want to come out. All right, well, I'm really happy that we got the interception, but I didn't want to come out the back of the end zone there, and unfortunately, it kind of just dragged me out, so I really didn't have a choice. But right here, Kyle Pitts wide open, and Kyle Pitts. That was nasty. I didn't want to do him like that, all right? I didn't want to do him like that, but Kyle Pitts all the way to the house. Kyle Pitts all the way to the house there, 99-yard touchdown. This Josh Allen card is pretty good. I did not want to switch on to Cam. I'm going to be honest, and I messed that up bad. I'm not going to lie, that is completely on me. I knew that I messed up there, and I just didn't care to switch. Like, I just didn't want to try to switch back because I felt like I would have messed it up even worse. That was just totally on me and Diggs. Good tackle. I guess I should say good knockout right there as second and 10 coming up here. Only 25 seconds left. He does have two timeouts, obviously. I don't think he's really worried too much about the time. But let's see if he does try to run it a little bit. And nope, he goes to a play action. Okay, Heinz Ward. And that's another user pick. How did I get that pick? I really couldn't tell you how I was able to make that play right there and get the interception. Doesn't really make much sense to me, but we do have Saquon Barkley wide open out of the backfield. You're going to take that. Oh, and by the way, yeah, that's not ultimate alumni Saquon. I'm still waiting on mine. That's just the 82 overall Saquon Barkley, unfortunately so, as... Can we fit that in? Ah, I tried to go to Hester. The issue is here, I'm still only on my 12-yard line, so I just don't want to get sacked and take, like, a very, very bad, you know, loss here. So we're just going to take off with Josh. Let me just slide. Oh, my opponent, you might have messed up so, so bad right here. He decided to not come out and prevent with this much time left. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, if I'm able to get this to work here, this is going to be really, really bad for him. Uh, let me see if I can block everybody. If we get enough time in the pocket, this is going to be a TD. Oh, wow. He actually played it pretty well. Yep. We're just going to once again take off with Josh Allen here. See if we can add a little bit to the stats. It's just stat pad a little bit. But you guys still got to see a little bit more there of Josh Allen and see the scrambling ability that he has, which is very, very good. Was Heinz Ward just open for a TD? I think Heinz Ward might have just been wide open. I'm going to run that same exact play again. This time I'm going to block Saquon so we get a little bit more time in the pocket. But I think Heinz Ward was like 
wide open there and actually no once again we're gonna take off <laughs> what was that listen i don't know what that was right there okay second down and eight coming up here uh we are gonna have kyle pitts kyle pitts wide open thank you once again kyle pitts is just dominating out here i'm telling you this pitts card is really really good here oh okay i mean there's literally nobody so we're just gonna go ahead i was gonna just try to quick fire that to the left side right there we'll take off get three. Second down and seven coming up i do really really want to try to get gunslinger activated here with josh allen because we still don't have it just yet we just need those consecutive five plus yards in the air throws as here we have kyle pitts that's gonna be five yards oh and by the way kyle pitts has 150 yards in case you didn't know and here we're about to get an oh we we're about to get another td with him i think and uh, cooper was open all right let's try to get these five plus air yard completions here we have kyle pitts so much for that really didn't even feel like i kind of like threw that early or anything it was just incomplete it is what it is third down and 18 coming up i'm looking for cooper i'm looking for cooper oh my god i mean you literally can't place the ball any better than that i mean that is just absolutely insane as saquon barkley could not be a more free touchdown and guys my opponent is about to get out of here i gotta say that was a really good gameplay. So I gotta say, guys, that was an absolutely amazing gameplay. Josh Allen, I mean, he's fast. I mean, he only has, what, 80 speed? He seemed fast, though. 84 Excel. You guys saw the takeoff right there. I think he's QB1, honestly, with the throw power that he has. How quickly I was able to really zoom those balls in there. And the uh, the amount that I was actually throw deep down the field, like the distance, was pretty good. We did have, like, a couple inaccurates, but... You know, is what it is. Josh Allen, absolutely amazing. Cam Chancellor, unfortunately, we didn't cause any fumbles. I really, really wanted to, but he was everywhere. I mean, a couple broken up passes, a couple of tackles as well. He just seemed like he was everywhere out there. So both of these cards, absolute studs. But with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. These cards were dogs. Make sure you guys check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. Don't miss out on that Angel Reese special. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.